basically everything. You need black and green by turn two for Constrictor. And then blue and red by turn three for Virtuoso. So like the slowest you could use a mana is red if you take out the Voltaic Brawlers, which you can do. Oh, the Nissa. Snap Keep. Can't get it out of turn one, though. Let's go get ourselves a swamp here. We'll go for the maximal siphoner and slowest everything else play. I mean, you know, it's just one of those games where your partner just, your opponent just has it all. Turn three to turn six, they just completely dump their hand as synergistic as possible. Ooh, are we gonna lose to another copter? It's gonna make me put in the deck. I forgot that's what I was supposed to take out the other glory bringer for. There's a rampage, and we got a pummeler. The blossoming defense would be sweet. Clues. When I taught high school for one year in Baltimore City, some of the kids told me I look like Mr. Steve from Blues Clues. I disagree. We both have big noses. It's so weird though, like sometimes when I play decks, you just see so much of like similar decks out there. It's, maybe it's when I play more mainstream decks that the decks look similar. So this guy's basically doing the same thing. Energy, good stuff, as much as he can. He's playing three colors, so Copter seems pretty good. That card was a four drop he played against. It. Four drop? Come on, man. Come on with the four drop. Yes. I think we're going to try to win this one through Pummeler. Just go for it. Well, we could kind of play much, much slower. Problem is I have no plays if I don't play Pummeler here. I guess I could play... No, I can't even get off Rogue Refiner. On the other hand, playing a mountain unlocks basically everything else. All right, let's go Pummeler all in. I mean, it's not really all in. We could probably come back. But if he has no answer, he is dead. We get. We can only actually double it once. Need more energy. Sure. Oh yeah, that's a play. I've seen that play before. It's a good one. The question is, will he play it again for the pump or not? If he plays it again, then we know he's not gonna harness lightning us. If he doesn't play it again, well, we don't know. He could be searching for a land here. Well, the Rogue Refiner we get two, but then we can't play the Rampage, that's the problem. We have to wait one more turn to go off on one more. And we'll survive another turn. It's whether or not the Pummeler survives another turn. If we got a Constrictor, I think we could do it. Because then when the Glint Sleeves attacks, we'd go up to six. And that would do it. Actually, it wouldn't do it now that he has the blocker. But... Wow, dude. 
Don't draw a card. I don't think so. Harness Lightning's pretty freaking good. Harness Lightning gives us three energy. Which means our plumber can get to 20. But he can pump for two. But we get two with the wind sleeve. Four, so he can do 22 damage and he has four. I think that's it, right? That's it. Actually, we got this easily. He goes to 40 when we attack, right? Oh, no, we don't have the... We don't have the... Uh, the constrictor. Anyway, that's a crazy win. <laughs> Get pummeled, baby? No. Get pummeled. Do the math. Do the math, bruh. Holy moly. But Pumbler plus Invigorated Rampage are not as common. Ooh, that's a feel good win, man. I love those Pumbler victories. I know that makes me like a certain kind of magic player, but. Every time I've made a Pummeler deck and I've 